Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit HTML on your Wix website in 2023. Wix is a great platform for building Wix, for building, sorry, website. But sometimes you might need to access the HTML code to make more advanced customization. In this video, I'll show you how to do just that step by step. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So now what we need to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, go ahead and use it. Once you do that, of course, you can simply go to your URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of Wix website. And of course, here, if you have an account, you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page. Of course, here, you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website of course if you forgot your email you can simply click here so you can get it back or remember it of course make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles as you can see you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with Wix company. Of course, this site is protected by Recaptcha Enterprise, Google Privacy and Terms of Use apply, so make sure to read them. And of course, you can even log in into your account with Google, Facebook or even Apple or with your SSO. If you don't have an account, make sure to click on the sign up option. And of course, from here you can create your account by entering your email, then retyping your email, creating a password, and typing your password again, then clicking on sign up. Of course, again, you can create your account with a Google account or even Facebook account. And by signing up, you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy. It's the same as I showed you before. So for me, let me just fill this information real quick right here. Let's see an example that's going to be my email. I'm just going to retype it or like this. The password, let's say it's going to be something like this. And let's just re-enter it. And here we are. As I said, you can or you don't have to fill all of those. If you want, you can simply click add continue with Google. If you have your Google account already connected and choose the email or the Gmail that you want to connect with. For me, I choose the same email that I choose here. So now let me just save this. So next time I want to log in or something, I'll not have to fill those manually. And here I'll have to answer a quick survey. So let's set up with the right tools. First, who are you creating a website for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you. For me, let's say as an example for me or my business or friends. So I'll click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say, an example, online store. Click on next. Should not take a lot of time, this survey. And of course, if you're getting bored, as I said, always click on skip. Enter your store name. Let's say, an example, it's going to be something like this. Click on next. Because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot. And even they will, will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here. So let's say an example is going to be blog, I don't know, maybe music, video, and click on next. Why not? So here, as you can see, we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see, they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. And here, of course, I would like to finish this steps to set up my store as an example. I'll have to add a first 
by first products and then set up a payment method then of course set up shipping and delivery address then design my website then connect to a custom domain then get found by customers on google so now let's get back to the main idea of the video of course i'm just going to click here on edit sites which will take me to the editor of wix website to edit my html code here let's just wait for the page until it loads it should not take a lot of time and here we are that's going to be my website and of course this i have my html code right here in this block of course i can simply select this and click on edit code and here i'll be able to edit my code from here of course if you don't have a code you can simply go to this left panel and click on add elements then go to this option embedded code and you will be able to add an html code if you don't have any as you can see you can put this here on the left as an example and of course you can enter your html code and of course if you already have it you can simply click on it and then click on update the code or edit the code if you want to edit it if you are not familiar with this html code you can simply use chat gbt so let's just open a new tab click on chat gbt and let's just try chat gbt close this and let's just log in again into our session click on login of course if you don't have an account just go and log in it if you have an account just go and log in it if you don't you'll have to go and create a new account or you can just use google or microsoft to log in or sign up because it will not take a lot of time for you here let's just open this uh, let's just open our accounts of course let's just put here something and the year should be something like that continue and or let me just use another account this i already have done this things on let's just log in again and continue with google use this account because i guess i already did this things on this account and here we are here we can use chat gbt to write a code for us so this is an example let's write uh, or ask chat gbt write an html code that uh, that writes or like um, welcome to this website i hope you find it cool like that in html code for my website so we said to chat to write html code so that's right welcome to this website i hope you find this cool in html code for my website and here's it he writes this code for us so simply we'll have to copy this code from here go to the wix website and simply go and enter the code here paste the code right away and click on update and the code should be right here if the code is not working for some reasons just delete it and do it again of course it can uh, sometimes have some problems click on updates and as you can see welcome to my website i hope you found it cool of course if you want to write anything here in html you can say it to chat gbt and make sure that it will help you doing that so once you're done of course you can go and open a new browser as an example and go to your website and check if the html code uh, looks good on your website or can just preview your wix website from here now you will be good to go editing your code or simply adding a new html code on your wix website so there you have it a step-by-step -step guide on how to edit html on your wix website in 2023 so whether you are a beginner or an experienced web developer editing html can help you make customizations on your website that might not be possible with wix built in too so go ahead and give it a try and don't forget to save your work along the way i hope you find this helpful Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.